Alright, so in this question, next part of the question, we answer show that these two vectors are parallel. OQ, which we found, is parallel to R. So you can already see how something plain off there. Although just go on right, well, two times this is that, uh, so they parallel. You need to use some words, use use some mathematical terms, right? So the word you want to hit them with. That will make the examiner go, hmm. The word you want to hit them with is scalar and multiple. Just prime up that word and have it in your vocabulary, ready to drop them when they hit you this vector's question. Show that this vector is parallel to that vector, scalar multiple. Which one is the scalar multiple? This one, because you know you multiply by something to get that, right? Two. So you had right. O Q is equal to two times R S. Can you see that? Yes, you can see that. Um, is a scalar multiple. Therefore, is parallel to R. So they can either ask if it's parallel or if it's collinear. If it's collinear, it means they are all on the same line. If they were all on the same line, you'd write the same thing to show that it's parallel and you'd also write that they share a point. But these don't share a point. So it's not collinear, it's just parallel. So when you write that, you are good to go. Alright, so this is part B to the vectors and then the matrices came after. So we just stick with the vectors for this video. X, Y, Z is a triangle, M is the midpoint of X, Z, X, Y, vector, X, Y is equal to A and vector Y, Z is equal to B. So you can actually label vectors using common letters, right? You can label the, uh, the, the, the vectors using common letters. So what is the rule, golden rule when starting up with vectors? Draw a sketch, draw a sketch. So X, Y, Z, let's just make a triangle and call it X, Y, Z, yes? X, Y, Z. Great. So you can make this triangle anyhow how you want. M is the midpoint of X, Z. So between X and Z we have M. X, Y is equal to E. So from X to Y, we're going to call that E. And from Y to Z, let's call that B. Okay. Alright, this is the data that was given. The first thing we were asked to do is express in terms of A and B, X, Z, right? Now this Z looking a little kind of funny, looking like a 2, and you want to make sure nothing is conflicting. If you could just pass slash through then Z, so you know that Z. Alright, um, so express in terms of A and B, X, Z, which is kind of simple, right? Vectors follow a pathway. So X, Z, from your diagram, because you were smart and you draw a diagram, you can now deduce that xz is equal to vector um, xy First we go to y, then we go from y to z plus vector yz So xz is really e plus b Now there's something I kind of left out here we said x, y is a, so I should put a little arrow here showing that this is a. And y, z is b, so there's a little arrow here showing that this is actually b. The next thing we were asked to do was find m, y. Uh, so m to y, vector m to y. So because we have a diagram, we have something to reference with. If we didn't have a diagram, nothing to reference with. m, y, my. <laughs> Alright, so find m, y. m is the midpoint. Midpoint of something is halfway through. So if I want to go from X to Z, I am saying this is AB. So the midpoint, so from M to Z is actually half of this. M to Z is half of X to Z. Are you seeing that? We have the whole X to Z and we have half of that. So if from X to Z is this, from M to Z is half of that. So we have A plus B. The reason I'm writing this is because this is a piece of the whole long vector that I want. I want to go this way and then go down here. What is Z to Y? If you put plus B, you'll get it wrong because B is going this way. That's why you put a little arrow to help you out now. But. So if Z is Z to Y, we want MY in the long run and we need to touch Z and then head down here. 
you're seeing already that you should put a negative VD. And the question asked us nicely to simplify if we have any stuff like looking like this. So to simplify this, let's just um, put that B over 2 as well. A plus B over 2. So trick with vectors, draw a sketch. Draw, draw a sketch and know this formula. Let me see if I can find it back. Where did we go? See this formula here? That formula is saved by. It. So know this formula. Alright? And do a lot of practice questions in the vectors. If you have any problem with any years, any vectors, be sure to put it in the comments. I look at all the comments. Um, uh, it, uh, some of the comments are very entertaining, right? So be sure to drop some comments. 